Consistently, each town, each building has its own unique history that helps define this eclectic island. The food's no different. This week in Destinations, we explore a sweet treat here, how it's made and how it came about. The origin of gelato is as varied as the flavors available. Initially introduced by Arabians, gelato has evolved from flavored ice to the rich tapestry of flavors people enjoy today. Through the centuries, each gelato cafe has its own distinct creative process for making the creamy confection. What makes each cafe's gelato different is the way it's made. You need to get a great balance of ingredients like sugar, milk, flavors, and everything else that goes into making gelato. It's most important to use fresh, high-quality products. The initial liquid form is mixed with a flavor at around 7 degrees Celsius. It's then put in a whipping machine that pasteurizes gelato at minus 40 degrees. Gelato is made fresh every day at the cafes and stored at minus 16 degrees to keep its consistency, not allowing it to crystallize like ice cream. The process is similar to making ice cream, but the end result is smoother, creamier, and very richly flavored. Hazelnut, pistachio, lemon, and of course chocolate being just a few of the traditional favorite flavors. Now you can eat gelato in a dish or in a cone, but my personal favorite is in brioche, an Italian sweet bread that really complements the creamy goodness of gelato. Find out more about gelato by visiting our website at afneurope.net. That's it for destinations for this week. For Moto San Anastasia, I'm Petty Officer Michael Rombach. Thanks for watching.